data on its own is just that. It is just data. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't lead to improvement. It only actually starts being useful if you put it in the hands of somebody who's in a position to be able to act on that data in a positive way to make a change. So what's important is the interventions that you can put into place. So data might show you that um, a student is at risk or in fact, it might show you that a particular group of students are at risk. Maybe certain types of students are not um, achieving as much as you'd like them to. So I think this is something that we encourage people to think about very carefully beforehand, is what kinds of interventions would they put in place if they saw certain patterns in the data, and, and what process would they use? We ran some workshops with groups of FE colleges and they actually identified four groups of people that can make a difference. So the first is the learner uh, himself or herself who can change his or her own behaviour. The second is actually academic staff, the teachers, who might say that, okay, so perhaps, you know, the younger learners in this group aren't doing so well or, or um, some other characteristic. Um, and they can put interventions in place in their teaching, so um, address specific issues. The third group of people that we identified were um, support staff. You know, so it could be that someone has specific needs, or that those needs have been highlighted through the data that perhaps weren't evident before. And those kinds of um, patterns can be picked up by support staff, perhaps, and they can put additional support in place where it's needed. And the fourth group, actually, that we identified were the senior managers who can actually put strategic systems in place to address um, differences in outcomes or, you know, where something's happening that they didn't expect. The flexibility with these offerings at that level, the student app, student success planner, the open dash and the data explorer, um, is that the data to influence and enable those products on that top level are very much and solely dependent on the data being in the learning records warehouse. So what we are saying is that the opportunity is there that you can utilize our offering, our free offerings of those specific pieces of software on the top level, but also that it's open to other vendors, other providers and institutions themselves to integrate with that data. The student app, um, in itself really is um, the Fitbit for learning. Um, it really does enthuse and with the aim of motivating students by providing some of the data from the learning records warehouse to really give an insight to a student around their performance against their peers. Um, looking at their academic progression um, and uh, anonymized benchmarking effectively against top 10 performers, for example, within their class um, based on their activity and their engagement levels. The student app is, is secure to use um, and in terms of uh, benchmarking against your friends activities which is, is also uh, consent driven so really the student app is, is, is something we hope that will um, encourage and motivate um, students to want to learn more and then achieve more. Students can actually log um, various activities so for example if they've been to a lecture, if they performed any coursework, any self-study, so they can actually log that information into the app as well and set themselves targets to log that against. Um, so really in terms of, you know, an institution may want to employ a strategy um, with their course or module or personal tutors where a student may want some kind of um, assistance or kind of pastoral or maybe um, academic progression kind of support, they can actually use the app as well to kind of prescribe um, kind of coaching um, initiatives and as the such so so again the app is not just processing and displaying information about their activity and their academic progression to the students from computer systems it's actually giving the students the opportunity to feed information in and get some benefit as well and uh, and achieve their aims and, and objectives one of the other offerings within the learning analytics architecture um, is our dashboard offerings or um, in terms of our an, um, analysis software looking at using either the open dashboard which is an open source piece of software um, that is being developed 
um, within the community with JISC support and also um, the Data Explorer um, application as well where we're looking at quite some intuitive um, ways uh, for us to analyse and drill down through specific learning records warehouse data uh, so providing a very basic in some ways straightforward ways to analyse data graphically but also then looking at bringing in information as well based on activities and other data sources. So some universities have found it um, difficult to access activity data in the past with our Data Explorer or with the Open Dash, they will be able to look and correlate aggregated data around activity and student academic progression into one place, effectively as a tool to support managing cases of intervention or looking at supporting students, they can look at it in terms of bringing that evidence and being able to interpret and relay that effectively back to the students. So really the dashboards are um, something uh, that we see as a tool um, specifically for members of staff supporting those students. In terms of student case management or intervention management I should say, uh, we have a open source piece of software that JISC have customised called SSP, Student Success Planner. Um, SSP's um, aim is to provide a very um, straightforward, web-based, easy to use piece of software for managing uh, students who are going through um, the process of intervention. When a learning analytics processor gives that alert or gives that indication that a student's at risk, it is effectively um, a red light to say this student needs some form of attention. At the end of the day, it is the institution's responsibility and decision what that intervention may be or whether they actually intervene on the basis of the data that's flowing from the Learning Records Warehouse and the outcomes of the, the learning analytics processor. But what SSP gives is an ideal front end and piece of software that allows them to manage students on a case by case basis with workflow, with email notifications and a full audit trail uh, of that information as the intervention case goes forward through time. So it really is a um, cost effective customer relationship management software for learning analytics interventions. In terms of managing student consent uh, uh, and the way that data is um, or aggregated data um, is shared within the learning analytics architecture. Um, some of that is done within the software, for example, through the student app, but in terms of maintaining the information that underpins that, uh, it's all done through the learning records warehouse. So in terms of keeping an audit trail and, and a log of interventions and um, outputs from the learning analytics processor, the same is done for consent. In terms of keeping track and managing and storing the information from the learning analytics processor and from the student app in terms of consent. The learning records warehouse is not just a storage medium for student and activity data, it is an enabler for student consent and for learning analytics um, management moving forward as well.